Hey, how's it going? Today 17th of uh, March, uh, Sunday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of things are there about the in this video, let's take a look at uh, some of the press releases that the UK uh, host world leaders for a first global fraud summit, right? Let's try to understand it on myself. I'm interested in what they're going to be looking to cover, right? And uh, if anything, I would define it as information sharing, right? And they're very, very sensitive information and how that information would be shared. If anything, let's try to understand who are the players at the table, right? The first Global Fraud Summit uh, hosted by Home Secretary begins in London today. Minister from G7, Five Eyes, Singapore and South Korea are attending. Okay, there are some people missing and there are a lot of uh, people at the table. But either way, let's uh, read it and let's try to understand it. International Minister are set to agree with actions to take down fraudsters and the first ever global fraud summit begins today. Home Secretary Day, that is the name there, will discuss the threats posed by organized crime groups and how global law enforcement can tackle it. During a series of meetings uh, with senior ministers and representatives from the G7, Five Eyes, Singapore and South Korea at the Lanchester House, the minister will explore how close their partnerships with the private sector can be used to Counter criminality. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep highlighting that's what they're gonna be discussing. I'm not necessarily sure that that's the topic that they're gonna be discussing, but either way, if you would ask me, we're gonna be discussing completely different things. <laughs> what they're saying, that's the reason why, the, what's the real point of the sitting down and having a chat? I think it's completely different. With the, perhaps the interest rates, all these kind of things, but they, they would, instead of rather saying that's what they're going to be discussing, they would say they, that's what they're discussing with either way. And in person, a victim of crime, the need for bolster law enforcement uh, sponsors clear with the uh, forthcoming Interpol threat assessment and expected to show the concerning rights of fraud and all uh, corners of the globe. Uh, that there is uh, some announcements made by a number of individuals. Uh, senior leaders from the world's biggest companies will also in, uh, be in attendance to, to explore further way for collaborate with the private sector. Right? I don't know. Even within Europe, right? They have mentioned and uh, about uh, how we're gonna be monitoring and or tracking media, right? Uh, some of those platforms when it comes to information sharing within Europe, right? When it comes to even pulling your money out of your bank account, right? From some of those banking institutions, and how much of that information is being controlled by uh, some of the organizations, including Five Eyes, right? And how and how these measures can be taking place uh, when it comes to monitoring of information and uh, <laughs> preventing saying fraud. Preventing all of the information <laughs> about the bank activities <laughs> that would be public being uh, prevented of sharing particular information on different forums and or discussing different banking institutions, even that might be a case, right? So not necessarily within the interest of the government and banks, but that would be interest of the people. At least this is what's happening within Europe. How similar concerns might be happening in the rest of the world as well. But either way, what uh, they would say is a problem, right? I, I don't think that's a problem. I think the problem is where they uh, based historically on the recent uh, events happening in the world where uh, sometimes small uh, individuals uh, can potentially make a large impact in the, it could be a small forums where people could be discussing even banking operations and if it, individuals would decide to pull their money out of the, some of the banking institutions but uh, potentially banks can go under <laughs> if you ask well, that's what's really happening but either way so but they would highlight uh, crime activities <laughs> Fraud is a global problem with around 70% of all offenses in the UK having ties to over, uh, overseas crimes with 3 billion lost of overseas accounts last year. Uh, reversing this trend is not possible without United Global Community. 
uh, and we highlighting some of the potential uh, organizations, right? Uh, in including Interpol, at least the report shows that Poland is often protected by organized criminal groups, including human traffickers who force people to work in scam centers with the target potential victims of fraud across the world. The aim of the seven distinct race partnership work between law enforcement agencies such as National Crime Agency, FBA, Interpol, European and Japanese National Policy Agencies sharing more intelligence expertise and resources will help them tied against the fraudsters. Attending nations uh, will uh, not be starting from zero. In uh, 2023, law enforcement agencies work with international partners including FBA and Europe. <laughs> okay, okay. To tackle down the online services known as I spoof. Okay, okay. The website uh, was used to make more than 10 million fraudulent phone calls. Is uh, uh, that's uh, an example. I right? think can happen, but either way, I, I don't know. I don't know that they would. <laughs> if you would ask me, that's a completely different thing that is happening. So on, so on. Uh, some of those nations, uh, perhaps that will be a social credit system, right? And some of the implementation of that system and what regulations would be required to implementing that. We're moving away from monetary policy into social credit system. Perhaps even that would be some of the tasks that haven't been highlighted, but they do not want to scare or spook spook anyone, right? <laughs> that they can easily restrict access for many of the people from using or having access to finances or social media platforms or those kind of things, right? We don't want to spook anyone, uh, meaning that it would uh, highlight and all hide behind fraud, <laughs> so to say, what are you doing? Industry collaboration to prevent fraud will also be a key focus, which why the senior figures from the world's biggest companies will also be attendant. Okay, okay. So uh, some of the players from the markets who are going to be implementing some of those uh, systems, including social credit systems, right? This provides unique opportunity for international lawmakers to engage with private sector in one place. This summit will encourage a greater collaboration between government and industry to tackle fraud. <laughs> okay, okay. The UK is spearheading collaboration with the private sector as known by the world first online fraud charter. A uh, voluntary agreement with UK with the 12 leading tech companies. If you would be interested in introducing a social credit system, you would be taking a look at tech companies. <laughs> It includes measures to verify seller or peer-to-peer -peer marketplace uh, promptly, uh, remove fraudulent advertising and allow people using online data services to only interact with people with who have confirmed their identities. Interesting, interesting. So, some of those measures, right? Uh, part, this is where it starts, right, with identities, right? Partner countries agree and similar hard charges will uh, severely hinder process who rely upon the technologies to commit fraud. The AK is also raised a prospect to creating a mechanism to trade funds that are lost over due to fraud. Okay, okay, I don't know about that, but if they're taking some actions, they need to start somewhere, right? Myself or others, if they're interested in similar cashless societies or systems, right? There, you would be interested in perhaps engaging with some of those organizations, right? When it comes to building uh, uh, this or similar systems, right? It anticipates that all attendees nations will agree, communicate, pledging more combined actions to fight fraud. The T of the summit will uh, consist entirely of work level meetings between the private sector, civil society, and senior civil uh, servants from across the world. Right? We have mentioned uh, uh, some of those, right? I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps uh, not necessarily. I'm not a hater, so to say, but uh, if I had to build similar systems, perhaps there's advantages or disadvantages to some of the systems, right? 
if it is a government, if government can easily take away all your freedoms, but press of the button, like access to finance, access to social media, there's a definite pushback to that. So instead of acknowledging that, oh, let's fight fraud, so to say, let's call it that. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see you next one.